What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're taking a look at the Inland Reefkeeper Saw. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you and your reef tank so if you're new to the channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can stay notified every time that we upload a new video so this week we're taking a look at the inland diamond band saw more specifically the db100 and we're gonna do a little unboxing and demonstration on how this diamond band saw can help you frag more corals successfully now to start things off the db100 is a diamond band saw which is essentially just a wet saw for or cutting corals. Some other interesting things about the DB100 is it can handle pieces of coral and live rock that are over three inches thick. It has a variable speed motor, which you can speed up and slow down depending on what the situation calls for. It also has a coolant reservoir, which you fill up with RO water and it's constantly dripping water on the blade, which is doing two things for you. One, it's keeping the cut clean on the coral and it's also keeping the blade cool so it's not overheating and burning the coral as you're making your cuts. So when you're unboxing your DB100 for the first time, you are going to notice that there are a couple of individual items in the box, but the main thing that I want you to take away from this unboxing, minus just a few components, the DB100 does come mostly pre-assembled for you. And as always, I strongly recommend that you take a look at the instruction manual prior to assembling and or using your DB100 diamond bandsaw. And as always, when you're fragging corals, it's essential to have a strong focus on safety and wearing your personal protective equipment, such as safety glasses, face shields, latex gloves, the whole shebang, every time that you are fragging corals. Now, the first step of setting up your inland db100 is getting the diamond blade on the wheel now you do this by pulling out and down on two spokes of the wheel and you'll see that that wheel will drop a little bit and this gives you an opportunity to get that blade in the groove on the wheels now when you're turning your wheels you want to make sure that they are going freely not binding or having the blade track on or off the wheel this is going to be essential when you are running your saw. After you have your blade in place, it's time to install the work table as well as the blade cert on the work table. And what this is going to do, this is going to give you your working surface when you are cutting and fragging corals. One thing that's important to note here is the blade cert will need to be replaced from time to time and they are relatively inexpensive. But what this helps do is keep your blade where it needs to be. So it's important to make sure that they are installed properly and replaced as needed. Now that you have your blade, work table, and blade cert installed, it's time to move on to the coolant reservoir. Inland has taken it upon themselves to now assemble the coolant reservoir for you so essentially all you have to do is just set it onto the two pegs that are on the top portion of the saw once you have your reservoir in place it is now time to attach the blade coolant guide and it's very easy to do you have some nylon screws that screw into some brass fittings and what i like most about this blade guide is you can make adjustments for those larger pieces of coral let's say you have even a colony of zoanthids on a live rock you can get a decent sized piece of live rock on your work table because you can make those adjustments on this blade guide as needed for those larger pieces of coral. And the final step of setting up your DB100 is installing the drain hose on the bottom of the saw. One thing I did notice during operation is that some water does still leak out of the bottom of the saw. So it might be a good idea to have your saw in some type of pan just so that little bit of water that runs out doesn't ruin any type of surface that you're working on. And that's it folks, that's how you set up your Inland DB100 Diamond Bandsaw. And to kind of wrap things up here, we got some footage of me cutting up some coral skeletons and I was really impressed as to how well this saw actually cuts coral. It really required no effort on my part. I just guided the coral through the blade and made really clean cuts. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for our unboxing and review of the Inland DB100. If you want to check out this diamond band saw, there is a link down in the description below, and it is sure to step up your fragging game. That's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.